Hi everyone. Now we are going to see how can we teach the integers, addition and subtraction in easy way. Some of the students getting some confusion while doing the addition and subtraction if we introduce the integers. Why? Because uh, they are getting confusion. How can we do plus into minus, minus into minus? So they are getting some confusion. To avoid that, we can introduce a small activity to understand the integers, addition and subtraction. Let's see how can we do this. We all introduce the number line to the students when we introduce the integers. That means here we have the zero position, zero position origin, and here we have all positive values, and here we have all negative values. These are plus values, and these are minus values. We told the students this concept, and now how can we introduce them the additions and subtraction to integers? Right, let's see. For example, so here I am taking a doll. I am taking doll by using this doll. I am doing a small activity to introduce the additions and subtractions. For example, I told that so this is the plus values. This is these are the plus values and these are the minus values. Right. So when doll sees the plus value, doll has to move the, towards this side. And when doll sees the negative values, that means minus value, doll has to move towards left, right? Now, take the first addition. So, here you have 7, doll first see the 7 value. That means doll should move to the 7. Let's see. Yes, doll move, to, move towards the 7. And here, plus. So when doll she is plus, doll thought that she has to move this side. She has to move this side. And again it has minus 3. So when doll sees the minus, so this doll thought that she has to move towards this side. Towards this side. See? Right. How many times it has moved? 3 times. 3. Why? Because here we have 7 plus minus 3. The value is? The ball doll should stay at 4. That means the result is 4. And now comes to the second one. Minus 2. So doll should stay at first minus 2. Let's see. Doll has to move us towards the minus 2. And plus. Plus means doll should thought that doll should move towards this side. Right? Towards this side. How many steps it has to move? 5 steps plus 5 steps. So it has to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it will be stays at 3. That means the result is 3, right? And now see third problem. Minus 3 plus minus 4. First doll sees the minus 3. So doll should stay at minus 3. See? Minus 3. And doll should see the plus value. So doll thought that she has to move towards right. Again, here we have minus. So doll again changes the direction and she can move towards left. Why? Because here doll she is the minus value. So see, four times she has to move towards the left. Right. So here value is the result is minus 7. Now coming to the subtraction. Subtraction. See here you see doll she is the 7 value. So that's why she can move towards 7 plus 7. And now doll she is the minus value. So when doll she is minus value first minus so she thought that she has to move towards left. She has to move towards left. Right? And again doll she is the minus. She thought that towards the left side. But again she changes the direction. Why? Because she again she is the minus value. So student able to decide that. So if they see 2 minus, that can be converted into positive value. 
so she has to move towards the three steps right the result was 10 now what is the second problem minus 2 so doll goes to minus 2 and then here she sees minus value so she has to move towards the left five times five numbers the result was minus 7 right see second one doll has to move to minus 3 see minus 3 and here we have minus right she has to move towards this side left side she has to move towards the left side and again doll sees the minus value doll sees the one more minus here so that's why doll again changes the direction and she has to move towards the right side see four one two three four so the result was one so this way we can easily teach the students of subtraction addition and subtraction to the students so that they can conclude that how can we plus minus and minus minus how can we change the values as minus into minus plus and what is the result sign value so see observe so if by showing the some activity they can conclude that according to the bigger one value the sign result value should be dependent for example the plus symbol has the bigger value then result should be in positive according to the values the result will be based so this should be understand by doing a small activity right thank you